Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan with another Every Transformers video. This is the one talking about Every Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy. Really nice artwork they have here for what we are going to see in the show. We've already seen a lot of these in these first two waves that they've been to, so let's get into it. So here is the artwork for the season, showing that we are going to definitely have some Beast Wars stuff going on here. So first guy we got is Cheetor, one of the Beast Wars guys. Nice robotic or animal form, I should say. Here he is in package, the figure, front of the package, and back of the package. Next we have Rat Trap, another Beast Wars figure. Front and the back of the package, robot and rat form. Then we have Voyager class of Cyclonus, one of my favorites. Here's the front of his package, jet form. The back of the package and the robot form. Next we have a Voyager class Megatron from Beast Wars. Here he is in his robot form. And in his T-Rex dino form. There's the front of the package, side of the package, nice artwork, nice dino picture here. And there's the back of the package in his robot form. I love the way they turned his tail into like a claw, that's pretty awesome. Next we have leader class Optimus Prime. And here he is compared to a larger prime. So here he is on card, front and back, robot and truck form. And then we have core class Predacon Vertebrake, and his tail is a sword, so that's pretty awesome. There's the front and the back of the package for this guy. We have Black Arachnia. Really cool looking figure. I like the way the legs come off the arms like that. There it is in spider form. Front of the package. Back of the package. Robot form. Got a deluxe class warpath figure. Jumping us back to the G1s. I love these guys. One of my favorites from that series. There's the front of the package. Back of the package, tank form. Then we have a Pelatrex Deluxe Class. And the really cool thing is these some of these bone warriors you can actually build on top of your figure. So look at Warpath over here to the right. You can actually see he basically turned this Pelotrox Deluxe Class figure into a weapon. So this is the T-Rex Bones version. Front of the package. Robot form. Back of the package. And then we got Optimus Primal, the gorilla version of Optimus Prime. We're using robot form, got the different swords. We're using gorilla mode. Really cool. Like the way he can store his blades on his back as the gorilla. 
Here is in package. Front of the package. Nice artwork. Back of the package. So that is wave one. You had your core, your deluxe, Voyager class, leader class. All represented. They all come with a little golden disc destiny trading card. In the deluxe Voyager and leader class, that is. It's a random card. You can kill and reveal the destiny of your character. 16 total cards across the kingdom. Not sure what y'all think about those cards or not when these packages. If you care about them or not, let me know in the comments. So that is the wave one from the kingdom. Notice that uh, Cyclonus there also has the T-Rex built on his back as well, so that's pretty cool. So then with wave two, we have a deluxe class air racer. It's a bird form here. Here he is the front of the package, bird in robot mode. Next we have a wave two. This guy's name is Dinobot, and he is Voyager class. Just a Velociraptor here. There he is in dino form. And here's some shots of him in robot form. Closer up image of his face, articulated jaw. One of my favorites, Ultra Magnus, leader class. This guy is amazing looking. Front and back of the package. Nice shots of him in truck form. White, Optimus looking figure there. Then we have a core class Megatron figure, and his vehicle form is actually a tank as well. There's your front and back of the car. Then we have a core class Starscream as well. Front and back of the car. Jet mode, robot mode. Then we have a deluxe class RC figure. Don't have any images of her in package yet. But gotta love RC. Did not have her in the G1 forms, but glad they're throwing her into it for us now. We've got a deluxe class rack tonight. This is the Triceratops version. So of course, he can be taken apart as well, and you can use him as armor. So here he is built on top of Huffer. That's pretty awesome. So don't have any true images of Huffer package. Got some blurry ones here, some leaked images. But here is Huffer himself. He can pull Ochmus's trailer as well. That's pretty awesome. Got a bed that you can take off. Use it as a shield, looks like. Nice images here. And then you have Inferno as a Voyager class as well. So there's a nice shot of the front and back of the package. Vehicle in robot mode. There's just some nice action shots of him. I like the way on the bottom right corner picture, he's using his ladder as like a bazooka type thing. That's pretty cool. So this is the Wave 2 of the War for Cybertron Trilogy, Kingdom. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments, hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.